Hi, I'm Ken Sherman, Senior Editor for CNET.com, here with the Sony Ericsson Xperia X10. We're excited to have this phone. It's been a couple months since it came out. It was Sony Ericsson's first Android phone. It was introduced in the latter half of 2009. And we saw it at CES in 2010, and then we saw it at Mobile World Congress. But this is our first, first chance to really get, get our hands on it, give it a good, thorough review. So we're excited to do that. Uh, the phone is pretty interesting in a lot of ways. Uh, not only, of course, it is Sony Ericsson's first uh, Android phone, as I said. It really has a nice overall design, I think. It is a little big. Uh, it is a four-inch display, so that is bigger than the iPhone. It's bigger than most other touchscreen phones out there. And uh, personally, I think bigger touchscreen, the better. Uh, but this is very vibrant. It's very rich. Sony Ericsson usually does a good job with its displays, and this phone is no exception. Of course, it does make the phone a little tall, made them make a little wide. It's not too thick, actually. I had the phone in my pocket and I did notice, I said, wow, that, that is almost a little uncomfortable. So might not be great in a pants pocket, but certainly in a coat or uh, you know, in a bag or a purse or anything like that. But um, certainly uh, very stylish and just in terms of the simple design, it's a little curved on the sides. Sony Ericsson actually is doing a lot of this with their phones. They're making them curved to match the curve of your hand. Three simple controls down below. There's the Android menu button, there's a home button, and you can set where that will take you. And then there's also the back key. On the rear side, you'll see the camera lens. And over here, there's just a couple of controls. There's the volume rocker, there's a camera shutter. Up on the top, you'll find the power button, a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. So great, the Sony Ericsson's uh, ditching all that proprietary stuff, going with a standard headset jack. Also find a micro USB port, that's for USB cable, for syncing, and also for charging. There is a memory card slot behind the battery cover. It is micro SD, so there's no memory stick micro. Again, no proprietary format. A few interesting things about this phone is it does have something called Timescape. Now, this is a new Sony Ericsson interface. It's part of Sony Ericsson's UXP, which is the overall user experience uh, that we've looked at before. But Timescape is very much like Moto Blur or HTC Sense in the way that it takes all of your contacts and your Facebook, your MySpace, your Twitter, and sort of rolls it all into one. And you can see a, uh, you can go to a page where you can see all your contacts flowing back and forth in your last communication with them. Uh, and you can set, of course, what you want in there, but it can be emails, it can be messages, but then it's also as simple as Facebook status updates and Twitter updates. And it flows in a sort of S-curve design. You can see it curves like this and then curves down at the bottom. Works kind of well. You can slide up and down. You can go to each individual contact. You can tap them. And then there'll be what's called an infinity button, which actually, if you press that, it shows you all the contact you've had with that person, whether it's over email, Facebook, or whatever it might be. So um, I've noticed just in my general testing that it seems a little slower than Moto Blur. Uh, it's certainly it's certainly slick. I like the design. I like the overall visual effects. Seems to be just the tiniest bit clunky though in terms of connecting back and forth. But getting it all to update frequently and having it having it flow seems like they'll work on that. Um, other things that you worth noticing is uh, phone dialer, pretty standard, uh, large buttons with large numbers. I do like the virtual keyboard. Uh, it's very spacious, and I like that it throws up all of these suggestions for words as you type, and it remembers emails. So, for instance, if I had an email like Kent.German, it would, it would, as I'm typing that, it sort of remembers that, even though it's not in your dictionary. So I do like that. Main menu is uh, all icons. You, of course, sit, like other Android phones, there's that window pane. You just move that, slides up. If you uh, slide that up, you get access to the full menu with icons. A couple shortcuts on the home screen will take you to, like, messaging, the timescape. Also, there's a Mediascape application, which takes your photos and any music and puts them all together. The infinity button also works in the music application, so if you press the uh, infinity control, you can see all the music that you have from that individual artist. Other features, it does have a high resolution camera, it does have Bluetooth, uh, it does have email messaging, you're gonna get the personal organizer. Uh, so really a stocked feature set, uh, and very much. I think for Sony Ericsson's first Android phone, it is a good try, I like what I see so far. I, I am interested though in getting in the timescape, just, just see how well it performs. I'm Ken Sherman and this is the Sony Ericsson Xperia X10.